if you have the AMC A-list membership, it's a subscription service wherein for $19.95 a month, I get three free movies a week. And so from December 2018 to March 2020, I managed to watch 178 movies within a 66 week period. And that is impressive. But then the pandemic stopped all of that. But now I'm back to going to movies. I'm watching two movies a week because Baby Steps, the pandemic's still around, people. Someone should tell that to Lollapalooza. But anyway, let's talk movies because it's time once again for Steve Stubbs of the Week! Thank you. Okay, so this is my fifth week back to watching movies with a combined total of 10 movies that I have seen in theaters. This week, I saw the following two movies. M. Night Shyamalama Ding Dong's new film, Old, and Snake Eyes, G.I. Joe Origins. So every week during this segment, I like to pick one film, which is my pick of the week. But before we do that, let's discuss the movie that was not chosen as my movie pick of the week. Snake Eyes, G.I. Joe Origins. All right. Uh, this was okay. This was pretty good. This was an all right film. It, it wasn't horrible, but that's actually a good review because this is a G.I. Joe movie. Yeah. So saying this was pretty good is actually high praise. It's like the Transformers movie Bumblebee. Like, it's high praise to say, I didn't want to gouge my eyes out with a rusty spoon. You know? Like, that's a good review for a Transformers movie. You, like, uh, oh, Bumblebee? Oh, I didn't want to commit suicide while watching it. That's, that's high praise. So me saying about a G.I. Joe movie, this was pretty good. That's, that's high. That's high praise. Yes. High praise. Here's the thing. I'm in my <coughs> 40s now. And so a lot of guys in their 40s grew up with Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and grew up with Transformers and grew up with G.I. Joe. But here's the thing. A lot of people my age never grew out of any of those fucking things. (laughs) There are people out there that are my age that are still super obsessed with He-Man. There are people out there that are still super obsessed with... Uh, like G.I. Joe and uh, Transformers and like like I had a bunch of G.I. Joe toys and I played with them all the time and then I grew up and learned about titties and I stopped giving a crap about G.I. Joe. Yeah. Apparently I'm a rarity because so many people are still obsessed to this day. Uh, Kevin Smith's new Masters of the Universe animated show, Masters of the Universe Revelations, uh, the first five episodes premiered on Netflix. And I watched the first two episodes of Kevin Smith's Masters of the Universe animated cartoon, and it was pretty good, uh, but it focuses a lot on... um, Tila, which is the main female of the He-Man universe, and yeah. really she's like the hero of the new Masters of the Universe film. So, a bu- of course, yeah. a bunch of uh, whiny baby males are like, a girl as the star? Oh my god, it's the Ghostbusters all over again! My childhood is ruined! And it's like... Why do you care so much about He-Man? Yeah. You know? Don't under I don't get it. I don't understand. You have made me a drink. What is this? What is this? Strawberry mojito take. Strawberry mojito take three. Ooh, okay. Right. I'm gonna try it out. Is it still too many? No, no, it's good. It's good. I, I didn't... It, it wasn't as 
fruity as I expected it to be. I expected it to be more sugary, but it's good. It's very good. The mint is just right. I really like this. Thank you. My wife is becoming quite the mixologist. Really? Good. So, yeah. Yeah. We got 110 viewers for our last Twitch somehow. We were going to do it again last night, but we were so exhausted from the parade, which we'll get to in Act 2. We'll get to that in Act 2. Uh, so, okay. Uh, G.I. Joe. So, um, a lot of guys in their 40s are still all gung-ho about the things that they were into when I was a kid, but it's like, I grew out of Alf. Yeah. I grew out of He-Man, and I don't really give a shit what you do about G.I. Joe. Well, I like, didn't want to like, go like, especially, especially fucking He-Man, though. He-Man was barely a cartoon. You know? It I was mean, just an ad for toys. Yeah. That's all it was. Yeah. I so liked I the female so Ghostbusters. That was invested. fucking hilarious. Yeah. Dude, I don't understand. I'm an adult virgin. I don't understand at all. But so I wasn't going to go see the Snake Eyes G.I. Joe Origins film because I never saw the last two live action G.I. Joes and I don't care about G.I. Joes anymore. But then I realized that the guy who is starring in the G.I. Joe Snake Eyes Origins film he played Dry Eye, the bad guy, in Guy Ritchie's The Gentleman. Yeah. Which I freaking love that movie so much. And I'm like, okay, I'll give the G.I. Joe movie the benefit of the doubt because Dry Eye is in it. And I love I love that movie so much. So I watched it and it is it's it's a good film. It's about ninjas and the Yakuza, and there are a few small uh, G.I. Joe characters in it, and there's some twists, and, oh, these guys are the good guys, and these guys are the bad guys. But wait, whose side are you on? And and it, it, it was a decent film. It was all right. It was pretty good. Mostly harmless. It was okay. Which says a lot coming from a G.I. Joe movie. So anyway, that's Snake Eyes G.I. Joe Origins. Uh, if you were going to see a film, there are worse films you can see. The G.I. Joe film is all right. Yes. Now, my Steve Stubbs pick of the week is M. Night Shyamalan's old... Uh, I really liked this film. Really? And I think it's because I'm old. Yeah. Because I went to go see the movie, and there were like 20 people in the audience. And I swear to God, I think this is because it's a horror film. I swear to God, I was the only person in that theater older than 25. <laughs> there, were a lot of, there were a lot of teens in the theater, a lot of groups of... Uh, like high schoolers and loud teens and people texting during the movie and a couple of selfies during the previews and people talking loudly amongst themselves while the movie is going on. So a bunch of young people and Gen Z's and all of that. And I heard a lot of them making fun of the movie as I left. And I think it's because they were too young to fully see the film as a horror movie. These people, they're on vacation, they go to this beach, and while they're in the beach, they're aging rapidly, and like, they age five years for every like, hour that they're at the beach, and they can't leave the beach, and they're stuck there, and they need to figure out what's happening and why and who's behind it and how to get out before they all die because even the small kids that are there on vacation within like 48 hours will be dead of old age, and they have to figure out the mystery behind all of this rigmarole, and I think that this is not a horror film to older, to younger people. To younger people who don't make noise when they bend their knees, yes, they're not gonna find this scary. 
you know, and especially for parents, especially for for older people and for people with children. This is a pretty scary film, and I liked it. I have read some reviews of people who have said within 10 minutes, within five minutes, within 15 minutes, I knew exactly who was responsible for this movie, the twist at the end of who is responsible for this. Oh, I saw it coming a mile away. I didn't, but I don't know, maybe, Bunny, you would because you have written... I hate those people. I hate those people that, like... Uh, oh, okay, you're a genius because you figured out the fucking twist of a goddamn M. Night Shyamalan movie. Is that what you're trying to do? I mean... Yeah. What difference is it? Like, I, I don't try to figure it out. I want to be surprised. I'm paying money to be surprised. I'm yeah. not paying money to prove I'm too smart to be surprised. Yeah. You know? But and, and I just yeah. find that so fucking irritating. Good, I knew Captain exactly. Buzz, kill you I... figured it out. Great. Yeah. Yeah. I I didn't I I didn't see it coming and I thoroughly enjoyed the film. You know? I'm surprised that it was PG-13. I thought they could have gone uh, gorier and darker with it. Yeah. But they didn't. It's a PG-13 film, but I thought it was uh, very scary, and I liked it. And Kat, can you stop meowing? Very rude. Stop. You can't get a spinoff. So many, so many people in this house angling for a spinoff. Not gonna happen. Not happening. Man, these cats. But yeah, old. I really enjoyed it. I thought it was very, very good, and I liked it. So, there you go. You can tell that I'm classy. Look at it. I've got a strawberry mojito and the cheapest microwave popcorn. That's a sign of class. Yes, it is. Only classy people uh, are twitching with this setup. So, <laughs> hooray for hooray for me. So that's it for Steve Stubbs of the week. Let me uh, let me let me go let me go to my app here and tell you exactly what movies I have lined up for uh, next week. Oh, I'm watching The Green Knight, which is the new A24 film. There's rave reviews and uh, the the Jungle Cruise movie with The Rock. I think I'm gonna like the new Jungle Cruise movie because I don't have any stakes because um, I don't give a rat's ass about that ride. Yeah, who who would have stakes in this? And like, uh, like I don't. It, it, it's the Jungle it's Jumanji it, without you know? Jumanji. Is what it looks like if to me. You, if you made a Tiki Room movie, oh, I would have, I would be, you know, on opening day. Yeah. And I would be like, you better do this right. But it's the Jungle Cruise. I don't give a shit. Like, I, I hardly, I, I don't like that ride. You can do whatever the fuck you want with that. When when they finally release the Haunted Mansion movie, oh, I will have some issues and some concerns, but it's the Jungle Cruise. Who gives a shit? Do whatever the fuck you want. I don't care. It might as well be People Mover, the movie. Like, okay, I don't care. I don't care. So, I might like Jungle Cruise, but that's next week. So be sure and join us for some real up-to-the-day movie reviews with Steve Stubbs of the Week. And cut on that.